All right, so we're back in the shop. Another episode of Projects in the Shed. First of many, most likely. This, uh, what you're looking at here, that, 94 S4 Motorsport. That's just because I hate 034 Motorsport, so I took the 034 off of there. Not a fan, but yeah. Uh, this is going on that engine block over there, eventually. Freshly back from machining. It's like a piece of jewelry in that light. Just shining. Ring canal, exhaust valves, stainless intake, full, uh, let's roll it over here for you. Full port job on everything. All the ports and intake ports should be are pretty well matched to the gasket. I just gave that a quick check to see if there was anything else additional that should have been taken or I should take. No idea what the numbers mean on there. Probably mean something, but not to me. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Super tech high lift valves or hydration valves and Got the cams coming from uh, <clears throat> California tomorrow. I should mention Jeff out in Missouri, Four Ring Performance did all this, all this machine work, or he didn't do the machine work, but he did the assembly and contracted it all for me and did a pretty freaking awesome job. Yeah, this is the shit box, and yeah, it's basically shit box. This. Uh, yeah, basically, it's just how on my zip ties is what I'm saying. It's this one too. All the tabs are busted, but that one's a little more sturdy. Um, yeah, it's got a whole myriad of problems. Was test fitting some wheels because brakes don't work correctly. So I thought, well, might as well test fit the wheels. Slick top, no sunroof. Some people like that. It's got. Look, it's even got slotted and drilled rotors. They're just, if you just don't look at them, they're probably brand new. And yeah, not much to see back here. Some crappy exhaust of some kind. That's not going to stay. I don't know what's going to stay. Like, uh, interior? No, that's not. That's definitely going to go. That tint? Maybe that tint can stay. Tell you what is staying. A little flounder mirror. I think it's so cute. It's like the size of my hand. Smaller yet, maybe even. Drilled and slotted up there. Absolute garbage. So yeah. Legendary 20 valve. 20 valve turbo. Five cylinder, 2.2 liter, inline five. It's got uh pretty sure those are LS coils, some type of coil conversion. Um, yeah, those can probably stay. Just noticed this tonight. That's, that's my next, it's clearly been expertly worked on. It's like I already, you know, I must have already worked on this car. Uh, it sat outside all winter, so it's definitely seen better days. I mean, I guess let's take a peek at the interior since we're doing the tour video before. Yeah, that's fucked. Um, also, you know, got padding that's missing. Seats are bad. Steering wheel is sweet. So that's cool. That can stay. Um, yeah. Not a lot to write home about in here. Probably just tear all the seats out. And yeah. Count them. One, two, three batteries in here. Because, I mean, obviously, old battery from my A4 and... Not sure where that battery came from. Maybe it came with that one. Battery from, I don't know, something. But didn't know which ones were good. But yeah, you know, not really any rust. Like no, no rust on the doors anywhere. So that's cool. There's 
Just a tiny bit of rust right there, but I think that's because it got paint got scraped off. Fender, it's fucked. It's buckled right there. Bumper is not even, front bumper is not even the right color or size from an A6. But I have the right bumper. But yeah, no rust really over here. Hood is, the hood's fucked. I guess I can shut that. And, oh, if you haven't noticed, we're just doing this video on one take because editing takes time and I don't want to spend it editing videos, but I figure I should probably make a video about this and show everybody. Yeah, see right there, that's, that's fucking mint. So clearly somebody fucking ran it into something. Now you can see how much of a different color that fender is and clear coat's all fucked on it. And everything's basically fucked is what I'm saying. But the idea is to un to unfuck this thing and got the block. That's it's not even worth looking at, but we got some mud flaps because obviously that's gonna help undo the bastardization that exists. But max ECU. Race ECU, that cost me all the money, so better be fucking good. ARP hardware, we got gasket kits up there, we got, yeah, lots of speed parts coming. Like I said, cams are on their way for this baby, and uh, let's see, what's, what's after that? All the pistons, rings, bearings, main bearings, rod bearings, piston rods, 625 plus hardware. Probably gonna run like a Garrett GT42 series, hopefully. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I suppose, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm just gonna basically just start a bonfire and toss cash in there till, till it makes uh, lots of horsepower. Not really sure how many horsepower. These are the wheels that came with some Avis something or others, 18s. Don't really care for those. Liquid in the trunk, that's great. Hopefully it's just from all these bottles and not from rain or something. But yeah, when I jacked the car up, all this water ran out from somewhere. It's definitely not from the sunroof drains, so I don't fucking know. Uh, that's not good. I guess I can see if the carpet's wet in here. Yeah, the carpet's fucking soaked. So I'll probably from the cowl. I would guess it did sit outside all winter, so yeah, that's fucking great. The interior's probably gonna get musty, but I'm gonna rip all that shit out anyway, so I don't fucking care. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what we're doing here. Gonna make a bunch of horsepower with this uh, piece of junk, because I've always wanted to make a bunch of horsepower and I never have. So here's to spending all my money. All right, guys, look for an update soon when I'm actually doing stuff instead of just talking about it. Bye.